I get that bag for real. I'm trying to stash a meal. I get your smash for real. I'm still in the trap for real. Got pressure, got grams for real. Got purse, got zans for real. Put my man on your man's for real. Put an end of his plans for real. Man, these rap niggas be straight capping. Always talking about shooters. But when a nigga catch him down bad, they be begging like, please don't shoot me. But well, stay in your lane. This shit ain't a game, man. Niggas dying for it. In the hood, trap slinging nine for it. Up that road, Joseph doing time for it. Slump 1200 GGI mob shit, and I'm back. You already know who on the side of me. The one and only B8100, you know what I'm saying? And on this app right here, are we gonna be talking about the big OG, the big stepper, Turbo out the Cali. Now, from what I was told and from what I heard, this guy right here schooled a lot of other steppers that we done heard about. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the People who have done a lot of these blogs on and stories on, they say Turbo trained a lot of them. So he had to be a different type of guy, you feel what I'm saying? For a lot of these individuals to look to him and go to him for advice on street politics and certain things that they was doing in the street. You know what I'm saying? Turbo would be a different type of guy from what I've heard. You know what I'm saying? Like he would be a mentor to a lot of the younger steppers that was coming up under him. In the late 80s, early 90s, they had a lot of individuals out here that was, like back then, that's when you was getting the, the proper training and schooling on what to do in the game and what not to do in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might have somebody that just take a liking to you and just put you under their wing. You know what I'm saying? They might be out here doing all type of stuff, but you always riding in the car with them. You know what I'm saying? When they see you doing certain things in the street, they pull you to the side. Like, look, man, come here. You don't do that like that. This, that, this, that, and the third. Yeah, take these little few dollars. You dig? Go get you something from the store. This, that, and the third. But it ain't like that no more. You know what I'm saying? And I guess Turbo was cut from that cloth, and he come from that era where that's what the OGs was doing. And I'm quite sure he had somebody lace him up and mentor him and tool to him when he was coming up. You know what I'm saying? So he definitely would be one of them guys that was always talked about from a from an OG standpoint and a stepper standpoint. He was always well respected, you feel me? From the stories I didn't heard on him, you know what I'm saying? I heard that he really used to sling iron too, he really got down too. One of my people told me a little story and I forgot who he, who he actually was shooting at at this particular time, but he told me. I won't say it was somebody that he was running with back there in the Calio at that time. I really can't remember who my people told me it was, but they say dude came through that bitch on, on, a, on a motorbike like on New Jack City, busting with some oozes, you hear me? Like, cutting up. You feel me? I forgot what my people really said took me to do something pertaining to some work or something with a plug or something like that, but I guess he wasn't feeling it. Up. He went back there and cut up, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just did an ep on Pooh Man Sterling, you feel me, out the nine. That was yesterday I dropped that story and I spoke on the situation with my aunt and her old man being duct taped and robbed in the Magnolia Project in the 90s. And Killer Stone was tripping. By um, years later, 96 or uh, 97 something, Pooh Man and another old head named, uh, old head named Terrell. He's uh, Tara had a niece that lived right next to uh, OG, uh, right next to Killer Stone. And um, one day I pulled up in the driveway, and uh, Killer Stone out in the in the, in the driveway with a chop. I'm like, "What's up?" He's like, "Man, they gotta go." I said, "What you mean?" He said, "I said what they did. They tried to rob you." He said, "No, I don't like the fact that these two known killers next door to my house, now, you know, in the project next door. This just don't sit right with me." But at this particular time, I never knew that the old head was actually turbo. And that the young stepper was actually Pooh Man. Until he yeah. spoke about it on his um, on his channel. You know what I'm saying? Then it went to making sense to me. And then I went to putting two and two together. You feel what I'm saying? Once I heard him say Turbo, I know Terror was turbo. You feel me? Pooh Man, once he said Pooh Man, I knew who Pooh Man was, so I'm like, all right, now it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Cool. The time I'm thinking it was OG Giggity and 
another one of his minions, you know what I'm saying, that had inducted my people in the house That's because of how it took place and how they did it, you feel me? But I'm assuming Turbo and Pooh Man ain't delete them because they didn't know them by them not being from back there. Then they knew that my people wasn't from back there. You feel me? If it was the other way around to where if my people probably was out the project and could give people a description on how they looked it and, and you know what I'm saying, this, that, and the third, then they probably would have deleted them because they probably wouldn't have wanted that to get out for people to even know that they pulled that off. You feel me? So by my people not being from back there, it was fair game. Look, man, we could just go in here, take the shit. We ain't much got to delete them or nothing. You feel me? Because they ain't from back here. You feel me? I'm quite sure they used to be watching. So they seeing my uncle truck ain't really used to be back there till nighttime. So they know he not from back here because he ain't hustling back here. So that was a that was a little easy come up to them. You feel me? I would have been thinking the same way back then. You know what I'm saying? Which it was an easy lick. Y'all ain't from back here. You don't hustle back here. So I don't got to worry about no consequences and repercussions behind what I just did. You feel what I'm saying? But the only person who really wasn't feeling that shit was Killer Stone. Because he knew they MO. You feel me? He knew they he knew they background. So he already knew what they was capable of and what type of time they used to be on. You know what I'm saying? But Chad Turbo definitely was a demon back then in that project. And it didn't even look like he was like that. You feel me? Looked like dude just was on some, used to be on some chill shit, but everybody got that other side, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got that other side. That beast they, they taming, you feel me, inside of them. That gin, you feel me, that darkness. Everybody got it. You feel me? Some people just trolled it. Can't tame that beast, you know what I'm saying? But long live Turbo, man. Big shout out to that Cali, you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the fallen soldiers. Everybody that done lost their life in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Slum 1200, GGI mob shit. Y'all get in that comment section. Hit that like button. Make sure them notifications turned on. And go check out the merch, man. Certified steppers. Y'all go check honey. B8-1100. Y'all already know what it is. It's money over bitches, but it's God over all. So I'ma get this money and just ball till I fall. Disrespect a go against the gang in this wall. Pull up on them, hop out, knock his brains in the paw. The shit don't stop till the casket drops. All them FED boys spin and smash the block. I say the shit don't stop till the casket drops. All them FED boys spin and smash the block. The shit don't stop till the casket drops. All them FED boys spin and smash the block. I say the shit don't stop till the casket drops. All them FED boys spin and smash the block. I know a lot of niggas died trying to get it in blood. Look, stay neutral, watch your moves, or get it in slugs.